Fox 25's Jameson Keefover joins us here in the studio with why the deal seems to be so hush hush. Jameson. Well, Wendy, we aren't finding as much information as we'd like to about this new facility just yet, and that's because we're learning city leader leaders are contractually bound to say nothing. We've heard for the past year about plans from Canute to build a manufacturing plant in northeastern Oklahoma, even holding a public event in prior Oklahoma for people to see their product. But this month, the electric car company announced a battery plant is opening in prior and the manufacturing plant will be in Oklahoma City. This is the site in southwest Oklahoma City where Canoe plans to create a vehicle assembly line with 500 high paying light blue collar jobs. This is exciting for Oklahoma City and the job growth here, but we haven't heard much from state or city leaders. Oklahoma City tells us they're in a non disclosure agreement with Canoe, not saying anything about the plans just yet. We already told you Canoe asked the Department of Commerce to keep the location of the plant a secret. And when we reached out to city officials today. Hi, this is Jameson Keefover with Fox 25 News. They told us they are under a non-disclosure with Canoe, and the best they could provide is a tweet from Mayor David Holt. He said the city has been in talks with Canoe for years and they welcome the partnership. Governor Stitt hasn't released even a tweet about the new manufacturing plant. And when we reached out to the governor's office, we asked if he had anything to say, but his office hasn't replied. Governor Stitt does have a canoe vehicle with the Oklahoma State logo as his Twitter background and posted this video to his YouTube page a year ago. Now we have an all of the above approach in everything energy. Oklahoma is the right place for any manufacturer to locate. And because of our all of the above energy approach in Oklahoma, Canoe chose us. Wearing a vest with the Canoe logo, Stitt met with the CEO of Canoe, toured the electric powered vehicles, and even saw how OU could use these cars on campus. It's possible the governor also signed an NDA with the company. He's done it before while trying to bring big business to the state. We heard from Canoe today, though, in an email from the vice president of communications. They say the company is ready to start production, anxious about it, and excited.